Hello everyone. Welcome to a quick pop-up live. This is independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator Teresa Harper and we are going to create on the fly. So let's flip you around and get things started. All right. So we're going to be using Pick of the Patch. I don't have anything but the box ready to go. So we are going to work on this together and design as we go. Let me get you up here so I can see who's on and see your comments. And then we will get going. All right, here we go and yay. All right. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Laura. Okay. So, busy day. Been working on this Caitlin's birthday, so we spent the day doing that. And I have this challenge that I'm trying to finish up tonight, and another pop-up live was what I needed to do, so here I am. So, let's get going on this. I picked up at Grocery Outlet today these little Russell Stover candies and uh, they had them in a really good buy three for a buck at the grocery outlet so I picked some of them up and I quickly put together a box designed a box to fit them so we're gonna make that and I have no decorations ready to go these are I picked this designer series paper which is from them bones and I think we're gonna use a black card base so let's find my measurements and go ahead and cut this and we're going to cut this at five and a quarter you can see i literally have nothing prepared and then this needs to be seven and three quarters so i'm going to cut three quarters off of the eight and a half inch side and that should give me seven and three quarters all right so we've got that cut and ready to go now let's go ahead. I prefer my Simply Score tool, so we're going to grab that. We're going to start on the five and a half inch side, or five and a quarter inch side, sorry, and we're going to score that at five eighths of an inch, four and an eighth, and four and three quarters. And then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to score on the seven and three quarter inch side at five eighths, three and five eighths, four and a quarter, and seven and one quarter. Okay. Now comes the little bit of a tricky part because you've got a five in a five eighths of an inch side over here, and you have a half an inch tab over here. This is going to be your glue tab. So we're going to start by cutting out cutting the glue tab. Trim that out so I don't forget. And again, I'm going to look now. If you have to, you can. Um, I like to do it from the back side. You can um, measure that out. So I'm going to cut that at an angle on the long rectangle, and then I'm going to cut to the left of the first score line there. And then I'm going to cut again on the long skinny rectangle there at an angle, and I'm going to cut off both of these, the rectangle and the square here down to that on that first score line. So now I've got my tab ready to go. Now I don't need this portion. So I'm gonna cut down on the outside edge there of that score line. And I'm gonna cut just along the second score line to that cut. And I'm gonna remove that piece. And then on this score line right here, I'm going to cut on the large, I'm going to cut to the right of the score line down to the second 
horizontal score line. And then I'm going to cut to the left of this score line down up to the second horizontal. Then I'm gonna fold this in and I'm gonna cut off these two top squares. Okay, so I've got that. Then I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm gonna cut to the right of the score line to the and put a straight edge on the long rectangle. I'm gonna cut to the left of this score line up to the first horizontal. And then I'm going to angle cut on the little tab. This is gonna be our tuck tab. Okay. And then I'm going to come over here to this score line. I'm again, I'm gonna to cut to the right of the score line so that I have a straight edge on my rectangle. And then I'm going to miter cut or angle cut those two skinny pieces. Okay. And then the last thing I need to do for the trimming is I need to cut these because these are going to tuck into the box and we need the tab, the tuck tab on the top to be able to get past those edges. Okay, now I don't have my little corner rounder handy. Well, actually, let's grab it. Let's just do it. It'll take one second to reach over here and grab my little corner rounder. And we also need a half inch. Uh, let's go three quarters. You can do half inch or three quarters, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to round the corners of my top here. And got to get that totally out of the way. Well, let's fold this in. Fold it into the side. Get that in so I get a nice. And then here we'll do the same. We'll fold that up so that we can really get into round those corners. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and fold and burnish on all my score lines. Normally I do that first, but I didn't today. It doesn't matter in what order you do it. As long as you give them a good burnish so that your box folds together properly. It's just, sometimes it's easier when you do it before you do the trimming, but I just fold everything down and burnish it up. Okay, so now we need to put a little finger tab in here, and this is three inches. So I'm gonna take and mark this at an inch and a half. You can eyeball it if you like. I'm not very good at that, and then I don't like how they turn out. So I'm gonna put a little finger notch in here to open the box. Okay, and now our box is ready for tear and tape. Okay, and I don't know that my tear and tape got put away from before. Oh, yes I did. I put it not where I normally do though. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of tear and tape on the outside of this tab that we created. The tear and tape's a little messed up here. Let me fix that. And then we're going to run this right along the score line. And the reason that you want to put it along the score line is because then your box will stay closed at the edge. If you put the tear tape clear out here, then it can gape when you fold it because when you fold it this is going to be the outside edge okay so this is the front of our box the way i like to do things so i'm going to put some tear and tape at the bottom of the front of my box on the inside now we did this tear and tape on the outside of the box and this tear and tape on the inside of the box okay so we're going to give those both a good burnish so that our tear tape really adheres. And then I'm going to give this a quick pull off of the wax paper. I'm going to fold this on the second score, uh, second score line from the right, fold it flat, and then on the first score line here. And that all should line up perfectly. 
and there we have our box, okay? So then I'm gonna fold these tabs in and fold that in. I'm going to put the side tabs in. I'm actually gonna put just a little bit of glue so that those will stick. So put just a little bit of liquid glue in there. I don't need a lot, just a little. And then I'm gonna fold my back down and then I'm going to remove my wax paper backing, square up my box, and press that down. Now I'll open my box, and I'll give that a good press so that those adhere to each other. Okay? So now my pumpkin will fit just right into my box. And then I'll turn it over and we are ready to decorate. Okay, now I told you this is a create on the fly. I don't have anything prepared. So I was thinking that we would use this paper here. So here is your first question in this help here. We've got this paper or I have this paper. You decide. Houndstooth or the one that says Boo Eek. And then we'll decide if this is this pumpkin's going to be a fall, just a fall, because if if we're going to use this one, we'll do fall, and if we're going to use this one, we'll do Halloween. Let me know what you want to do in the comments. Hi, Tracy. Thank you for joining. Boo Eek. Okay, I've got one for Boo Eek. Anybody else? While you're deciding, okay, I'm going to go ahead and measure this so that I know how big to cut my paper. Three by three and a half. So I need two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Two and seven eighths by three and three eighths. Okay, so so far I'm just seeing Boo Eek. Two and seven eighths. What I say? Oh my goodness! I should see. I should write it down. Two and seven eighths will be this one by three and three eighths. So let's go two and seven eighths because I need it to be in portrait. Two and seven eighths by three and three-eighths. Okay, and that should fit perfectly. And it does. So we're good there. Okay, so let's go ahead and set that aside. And let's add this to our box. Okay. Oh good, Laura went Halloween too, so good. Let's do it. Okay, so we've got our little paper here. And you could decorate the top and the sides, but I'm only going to do the front. I'm just going to call that good. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I thought we would use the new hexagon punch that you can get um, in the online exclusive section. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at right now. Um, it's for World Card Making Day and it's the Heartfelt Hexagon Punch. And I thought that would look pretty cute right here. So we're going to use that. And I don't know if we're going to go white or um, what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get some decorations together. I've got some white paper here and let's get some pumpkins and let's see do we want one well let's stamp one in pumpkin pie one in cajun craze 
and then we'll decide what we need to do. I need to, actually, I'm going to use this little scrap for this little pumpkin here. Because I need to put it in this way to um, punch it. And this little scrap here is perfect. So let's go ahead. We've got a Cajun craze. And let's grab a pumpkin pie. And this one needs to go into the punch this way. So let's go ahead and cut this off to conserve some paper here. I don't want to waste too much paper. So let's take this and we're going to look at our pumpkin and I need to feed it in this way. So I'm going to stamp pumpkin pie right here. And then, uh, which one should we put the Halloween face on, do you think? Let's stamp one more little guy. Do we have a third orange? No. Okay, let's do two in pumpkin pie. Well, actually, let's, let's stamp this one in both and then we can decide which one we want to use. That'll give us some more options. Okay. Cajun craze. Cajun craze. That's what Tracy said. Okay, now this I used pumpkin pie for. I'm going into the darker Cajun craze, so I'm not even going to worry about um, cleaning that in between because the pumpkin pie is darker, or the Cajun craze is darker, so I don't need to worry about that so much. All right, so we've got that. Let's go ahead and do this. And then these two need to be fussy cut because there's no punch for that. So we'll give those a quick little fussy cut and then we'll decide how we're going to do this. Okay. What are we gonna, let's do this first and then let's punch this out. And maybe we're gonna do Cajun Craze, then we can put the pumpkin face on this medium pumpkin. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the pumpkin face and put it on a decent sized block. We'll get black, Memento Tuxedo Black here. I'm going to get my, um, I'm going to get just a little, I want just a little bit of extra cushion here. Uh, oh, there it is. You guys, I've got kind of a mess in here today. I didn't get back to clean this up. It's been a busy, busy time. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this in here. Give that a good press. Let the ink transfer. Okay, yay. That looks really good. Okay. So, shall we put this on here, and shall we go like this? Hmm. What do you think? I'm not really liking that so much. One, two, I want that third pumpkin. I just, maybe I want a second larger pumpkin. 
What do you think? Should we do two large pumpkins and one medium? Thanks, Tracy. I appreciate that. This is the last day of this challenge, and I have got to say it's it's been a roller coaster ride. Okay. Any ideas, ladies? Should we just add some leaves in here, maybe along the maybe <laughs> here's our stamp set. Too large. Too large. All right. Should I do too large in pumpkin pie? Uh, let's see. Let's grab another scrap because I, I don't think it'll fit on that other scrap I had. So let's get another one. And I probably didn't cut that big enough. Let's see. Oh, yeah, barely. But big enough. It's good enough. Okay, so let's do, yes, two large and pumpkin pie. All right, thank you. And we need to put this that way in the punch. So there we go. Get this. get it set how I want it. I'll just give it a good press and then put my second hand on and here we are. Okay, so we've got pumpkin, pumpkin, and this. Let's get some pecan pie. Let's use black. Let's put some black on there for those little to bring that black in from the oops that's not going to work but that piece is much too small for what I need I'm just going to use a scrap the scrap that I cut off of my box and I'm going to get me a couple of pumpkin stems I think we need them and then we will bring this trick in that I used the other night get some glue dots grab our pumpkins in the center with a glue dot And then we'll just put them down and pick up our stems. And I'm going to have one stem go. Let's see if we're going to do this. Let's put this other stem on this one the other way. And then we'll just, this one's a little bit smaller. Let's turn it down so it looks like they're all different on the stems. Okay. Okay, let's set that aside. Let's bring this back in. Do this. I want one pumpkin higher than the other. Do this. Okay, what do you think? It's a lot of pumpkin pie. Uh, we could easily do two Cajun craze, large ones, and one little or one medium. Let's try that because you're right. It is a lot of pumpkin pie. Let's just grab another piece of white here. This one will work. Let's grab that Cajun craze. We're just uh, we're just gonna do this. Okay. Well, what did I? There it is. Here we go. Let's go with two large. I uh, got that one too low. Okay. So we've got
got that. And then we need the medium that needs to go this direction. And that is, let's see. Yep, I can do it. I can do it. Yep, that's going to work. Okay, i got to clean that off real quick, though, because I used Cajun Craze rather than the pumpkin pie. So let's do this. And I need this to go this way. Okay. Can I make this work? Oh, probably not. Okay, forget that. Where? I did them all wrong, didn't I? Nope, I didn't. We're going to go this way. Here we go. We'll fix that little medium pumpkin here in a minute. One. Get rid of this one. I don't need that. Got just enough to hold on to here. All right. Now let's get this little scrap and put this on here like this. I'm going to put these ink pads away. Here we go. Whoa. Having a hard time holding that still. All right, so here we go. Now we need to put, I guess we're gonna put the face on, on the little one, right? And we're gonna use those. We'll just pull those off the backs of those so we don't have to do that again. So, Better. One large one. Okay, what about one large one, small, and a sentiment on the tag? One large one, one small, and a sentiment on the tag. Okay. One large one. So you want one large one. You want the small and not the medium. So I'm going to guess we're going to go Cajun Craze, which I did cut out. That's okay. Uh, are we putting a face on any of these now? I don't know if the face will fit on the small one. Let's try it. And I got him. I don't know why I'm out of the camera here for you guys. Sorry. I'm not very good at crayon on the fly. Okay. So this and this, and then a sentiment here. Is that how you want it? And then you do you. Thank you. <laughs> So let's go ahead and put a, let's see if the face, what the face will look like on this little one. Oh yeah. Let's do the face because I'm pretty sure I can get it on that Cajun craze still. Perfect. Like it. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's steal one of these little. There we go, just like that. And tweezers. Let's get that off of there. Put that little one right there. Put this here. All right. Okay, I like that. Now, let's get a sentiment. And from pick of the patch, uh, let 
Not sure what's going to fit here. What do we have in... Oh, we could do eek. Let's do eek from Tricks and Treats and put it right there. There we go. I like it. And we're going to stamp that in black. So let's get us a little... Let me get rid of that stem. Get the black back out. And bring this down off of the box so I can stamp it where I want it. Right here. Perfect. All right, let's pop this. Let, we're going to put this down flat. I got black on my fingers. I got to get that off. Otherwise, I'm going to have black everywhere, and we do not want to start over. Okay, here we go. Put this here. Pop this up. This pumpkin right here. We're going to pop, pop it up, and I'm going to cover up that stem so that I can make sure that stays in place. Right there. Okay, I'm going to put this one, and we're going to put the dimensional to the right and then we'll put just a little bit of glue right here on the left and pull that backing off and set that down like that now let's grab uh, the black and white gingham ribbon do we want this? Yeah, black and white. Yep, we do. And I don't want them to have to untie this. So let's see about putting a bow. Do we want the bow up or down? What do you think? Up here or down below? Okay, so there's what it looks like if we go up. We can move this over here. Might want to make it a little bit smaller. Right, left, or down? Go ahead. I think I'm good to cut this. So let's go ahead and cut it because I could retie it if I need to. And then let's grab the. Do we want to use the glow in the dark bats or do we just want some black Mac dots? Not sure these will show up on here. Try down. Okay. Let's see how good I am at sliding this off and sliding it right back on. Not. I'm not. But it's okay. Because I love my... Okay, so if I'm going to bring it down here, I think I need to put it on the left. But we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to pull this up. Loop. Swoop. Tuck. And pull. Let 
Ooh, and I can kind of slip that right there underneath that bottom pumpkin, like so. Dots, yep, that's what I was thinking. Classic matte dots. Okay. Man, we got a mess here on my desk. Let's get rid of that. All right. So let's do, let's do two up here, like so, and then we'll put a third one, um, maybe here. Okay, what do you think? How'd we do? Let's go ahead and trim these off. They don't need to be quite that big. All right, there you have it. We made a very cute box together. Thank you guys. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate that. And I will see you next Wednesday. Hopefully no more pop-up lives. This was fun, though. For not knowing what I was doing half an hour before I went live. All right. Thank you guys so much. That was fun. I'll see you next week. Good night.